you so much for joining me today for another video. I'm gonna do a ring pour today on this 20 by 16 inch canvas. So I did one the other day and for whatever reason, my camera quit recording. It's been doing that lately. So I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, it turned out beautiful and I did show it the finished piece um, in one of my videos. I'll put the link up in the corner if you wanna see it. But anyway, I'm gonna go do another ring pour using some of the similar colors but I've added this other color, and I'll tell you which one it is when I get to it. This is just white, and I've made all the colors <laughs> except for the white and gold. This is pewter with, it's so pretty. Um, I added some Payne's Gray to it. This is a teal green color. It actually started as a very light blue, and then I added some green to it, and just until I got the color right, it's, it's a pretty color. This is bronze. It is bronze labeled on the container that I got. However, to me, it looks very copper, so I added brown to this. Now, it does still dry on the copper side, but I like it a little darker. So, this right here, which I think is such a pretty color, it is Alizarian Crimson Hue Permanent, and then I added black to it to get this color. So it's kind of, it's almost like a plumish color. I was going for more of like a Bordeaux red from Arteza. I don't have any Bordeaux red. Love that color, but that's what I came up with. And then I have 24 karat gold. Okay, so got my canvas here. Here's my cup. And I'm just going to start layering my paints. Yeah, I was really disappointed. I don't know what has been going on with my camera. It's just, it's really strange. It'll record and then literally just stop in the middle of it. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I cleaned up a bunch of storage on my camera, hoping that would help. There we go. Deleted some stuff that I didn't really need anymore. So, hopefully that will help. Isn't that a pretty, pretty color? All of these are. Should be really nice ring pour. Okay, I'm gonna speed you through the rest of it, but I'm gonna continue to layer it the same way that I just did. My colors layered. Isn't that pretty? That just really is very pretty. Okay, you can see I splattered paint, but that is not going to matter. And I'm just going to do a ring pour right in the center. There we go. This is not the best cup to do it with because it is wide mouth and it's hard to control the rings, but that's okay. Ooh, I'm already, I can see the cells coming out of the cup. Wish I could show it to you. There we go. You can see the, the cells right here. And there's that white. There we go. Almost finished. I just wanna make sure the center looks good. Oh, yep, and I made a little tail. That's okay, look, look at all this. Wow, <laughs> it is already just exploding with color. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix the center here. I was trying to make it perfect, but it didn't work. Look at my cup. I mean, that's just beautiful. And you can see, look, cells in my cup. <laughs> wow, look at that, cells in my cup. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try and fix this. Just take my little bamboo skewer. Fix this. And it may show up, it may not. Okay, it looks a little bit better though. Okay, I'm going to torch for air bubbles. 
You know what? I'm not going to torch it. Okay. I'm going to spread it out. Look, look at all this. Wow. This is really pretty. All right. I'm not going to torch it. I'm just going to kind of go around the canvas. Super cool. Got some really neat, neat details going on. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and torch with my flamethrower. You've seen my other videos. You know my other ones. Should be getting here any day. Okay. Have to make sure it goes out before I put it down. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. Hmm. Not wild about this as I am this over here. So, let me think. I'm going to go ahead and push it off this side so then I can come back. There we go. Just walk my paints back. I'm walking my paint back to the middle. This side probably would have been a good idea to go ahead and put some paint around my canvas but I didn't okay but I think I will down here let's see let's use some of this blue and some of this well, I say blue, it's pewter and paint's gray. Some of that red mixture. There we go. Just spread that out a little bit. That's pretty by itself, isn't it? Just those two colors. Really pretty. Okay. There we go. Come back a little bit and go that way. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and come off this corner. Here, I'll turn it around so you can see it. There we go. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to move the center back towards this side just to get a better composition. I'm just going to move it this way. And I think I'm going to go down with it a little bit. Get that one side off, and I think I'll be happy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and push some of this off a little bit. It is super, super cool. Wow, I cannot believe how these have opened up. All right, I like that. I like it. I like it off center like this. This is super cool. I mean, super cool. Okay, I'm very happy with this piece. I'm gonna pop my air bubbles, clean up my sides, and I'll bring you down for a close up. Here is the overall piece. I did turn it long ways. I think it looks best this way. That's just my opinion. You might like it some other way. 
But yeah, there's so many details. Look at the rings. The giant puffy clouds almost. There's some lacing over here. It's really pretty. Look at all those cells, they're huge. And then the rings right here. I've never done a ring pour and had this kind of reaction. It's not that I used anything special. There's no satin enamels. The cells are all just enormous. It's gorgeous. And look how big they are. <laughs> I don't know what I did. This down here looks like the ocean to me. It looks like every one of these like here and here and here. All those have white caps. So if you look at it right like that, to me it looks like there are white, cap, white caps in the ocean. That's cool. It's really pretty. You can tell every inch of this is gonna sparkle and shine. So I'm not even gonna turn my lights out. But it's gorgeous. I love the outcome. I like it off-centered like this. Sorry, that's, I have to step back in order to get it in. I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.